Hello and welcome to this short Scratch tutorial in which I'm going to be showing you how you can use Scratch to make a great presentation. So normally we know we make our presentations, we use uh, PowerPoint or we use uh, Google Slides or something like that. Um, but a cool way to make an interesting presentation is with Scratch and it can also be interactive as a result. So it's a really great way to make a presentation, make something a little bit different. So I'm going to uh, talk you through it. I'm going to create a presentation about five different countries. So the first thing to start off with is choosing your sprite because you want a character to, um, to do your presentation for you. So I'm going to choose, um, yeah, let's choose the battle. Actually, let's choose Abby. There you go. So Abby's going to be my presenter. I'm going to put her over here. And I think there's some different costumes, different looks for her. Okay, I think I've got to go for this one. Okay, great. Uh, and remember also, if you want to change the, the way she, the character, the sprite is looking, you can do a flip. So yeah, I think I'll put her on this side here. Okay, so I've got my sprite, who's going to be doing the presentation, and now I'm going to choose my backgrounds. Well, I've already downloaded some backgrounds which I want, um, and they're all pictures of different countries. So I'm going to do one about Brazil, Egypt, America, Japan, and India. So you just go ahead, you find your pictures, and you just upload them there, okay? So that's, you click over on that side, and then upload your pictures here. And then you can see here, I've got um, six slides. The first one's just blank, so I'm gonna delete that, okay? What's also important is that you have like the, the, the name of these sprites. So if after you upload it, the name, you know, it's some sort of random number or something, um, it's good to just name it. It will make it easier when you code it, okay? You might also feel the picture's a bit small, so you might wanna add a bit of color. So I'm gonna add a bit of blue around this one here. Um, Okay, so what you do is choose your color, and then click on the paint pot, boop. There you go, okay, and you can do that for uh, any of them where the, you know, you think it's a, there's a bit too much white space on it, okay? I'm gonna do on this one as well. Let's make that a little bit interesting. And looks like I have to do this on all of these. Okay, so after you've um, got your background set and you're happy with your backgrounds, you head back over to the code. And like I said, we've got our sprite there. I actually think a good way to do the presentation is to have a button on your screen. So there are some buttons in here already. Okay, just search button, or you can download another picture of a button. I'm gonna use uh, this button here. Okay, and that's gonna go down here. I think it's a little bit big. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, set the size to 75. Okay, great. Okay. Now then, what I'm going to do now is start coding the backgrounds to change. So first of all, when I click the green flag, it's going to change the background. Okay. And then you decide here which background you want to start with. So I'm going to start with Brazil each time. Okay. Um, so when I click the green flag, boop, it'll always go to Brazil. Okay. Now then, I'm still coding the button. So what I'm going to do now is click on the event when this sprite is clicked. Yeah. And then go back to looks and it will go to the next backdrop. Okay. So every time I click on the button, it will change. Okay. So you can see our presentation is already kind of sh taking shape there. What I need to do now is have our presenter speak. So I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to use the event when background switches to, okay? So you're going to need one of these for each background that you've got, okay? When background switches to Brazil, when it switches to Egypt, when it switches to USA, when it switches to Japan, I need one more. Okay, and then in here, you just add the speech. You just add what you want it to say. Okay, very easy. Welcome to Japan. And you can add more interesting information again after that. Okay, and then you click run, and then you'll see, welcome to Japan. And that's how you add all of your presentation. 